This is the Canon 80D and it is capable of shooting some fantastic video. This is the manual. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how to set up the camera to shoot great video. Hi, I'm Grant and the Canon 80D is a very capable camera for shooting some fantastic video. It has customizable picture profiles, it has high frame rate recording, it has arguably one of the best autofocus systems for a DSLR style camera when shooting video and it also has both mic in and headphone monitoring jacks for recording external audio. However, there are a few menu settings and controls that you should know to get the most out of shooting video with this camera. First up, video requires a lot more storage and higher read-write speeds on your SD card than shooting stills. Canon recommended an SD card of UHS speed class 3 or faster for its top data rate when recording video. I use the SanDisk Extreme card, which is a class 10 card with a 45 megabits a second write speed and it has worked really well for me. Double check this as this is a common cause of error when recording video is not having a fast enough SD card. First up with your camera powered on, switch the Wii live view switch here from the white camera icon to the red video icon and now your camera is in video recording mode. This is also your start stop button for recording video. Now that you're in video mode you can just leave your camera in the green A for auto and actually just go out and shoot video and it does a pretty good job. But to get the most out of this camera you'll want to switch it into the M for manual mode. Now press the menu button up here to access the camera's menu setup. You can use the very good touchscreen LCD monitor here for going through your menu options or else you can use the Wii rotary dial over here which I'll use so you can, or well, makes it a bit easier for you to see what's going on in the menu screen there. So now scroll across the top here to the spanner menu and then go to page three and we're gonna go into the video system. You'll see the video system here and this is where you set the video system to what country you live in. NTSC for North America, Canada, Japan, Asia, PAL for UK, most of Europe, New Zealand and Australia. I am in a PAL country so I set it to PAL. Now go back to the camera menu and go to page two. Auto lighting optimizer, we leave this in off. Scroll down to white balance. Go into the white balance menu. The actual AWB stands for auto white balance and it actually works surprisingly well. But to take full manual control of your camera, I prefer to go across to the K menu and set a, a degree Kelvin function. For example, 5600 if I'm shooting outside all day or else you can lock it for example, using the sunshine, if it's a bright day and shooting outside, you can lock it in the daylight mode or the cloudy mode, or if you're shooting inside under lights, use the tungsten uh, setting. This locks your white balance and gives you more consistency in your picture color. Scroll across to page three. The first menu there is picture style, and this is where you can set the look of your video and as a matter of personal taste. For a quick set and go picture style, I would recommend the neutral setting. So if you go in here, it will probably be defaulting to auto or standard. Scroll down and then hit neutral, set, OK, and you're away. For a more classic Canon DSLR look with a little more latitude for editing, I use a modified neutral setting. So to do this, we go back into the picture style menu and we scroll down. For example, I've already set it on user def 2, but I'll show you how I can do it or how I did this in user def 1. Go into, put your menu on user def 1, go into info detail set, go in here, scroll across, I'll use neutral as my base setting, scroll down, I go to sharpness, I go in there and I go plus 2, and I go to contrast all the way to the left, saturation, back to, color tone, I'll leave it as it is, and that gives you a nice classic Canon look. This is my preferred go-to setting for shooting with this camera. Scrolling down, highlight tone priority, I leave that in the off setting. Moving on to page four, movie servo AF, which stands for the auto focus, enable, enable it and then AF method. 
I leave it on the first one here, which is the face tracking, which seems to work pretty well for video. Scrolling down, movie record quality. Into that menu. This is where you set your camera to record in either the highest data rate on this camera or the all eye mode, which records in a dot in here, dot MOV file, or else you can use the more compressed IPB mode, which records in the MP4 file formats. If you're doing a lot of editing and color grading with your footage, then the all eye mode is the better mode. However, you will not have access to the higher frame rates in all line mode of either 50 or 60 frames a second, which are only available in the MP4 format. I'm going to select the MP4 format because I want access to the higher frame rates. Scroll down here into movie record size, and I'm going to record in the FHD, which stands for full high definition at 25p. If you set your camera to NTSC, you will probably have 30p there. This is also where you can select your higher frame rate recording of 50p or 60p. Let's leave it at 25p for now and set OK. My personal preference here is the MP4 or IPB format, as you'll have to do some serious pixel peeping to see any difference between the two different formats of all I or IPB. IPB also gives you smaller file sizes to work with, which suits me for most projects, so I am going to roll with the MP4 H FHD 25p format, and that's the one I prefer to shoot with. Digital zoom, disable. I'm not a fan of digital zoom as it reduces your image quality. Sound recording, this is where you can set it to either auto for just using the camera's onboard inbuilt mic or else if you are attaching an external mic this is where you will probably take manual control over it by hitting manual there and you can now select a level. For example, I am recording this video onto a Canon 70D with a lapel mic and I am running it in manual mode with my level set manually. However, let's just leave this in the full auto mode. This is where you enable the camera's built-in time-lapse mode. So if you go into there, you can set and play with the settings there and the camera will automatically compile a .mov video file for you once it's finished. So we'll just turn that off at the moment. The only other menu of interest here is if we go right back across to the spanner menu is the format card. This is where you obviously format your card. Do this with caution. Once in manual mode, you now have manual control over your shutter, your ISO, and your aperture. To set your shutter, you use the quick control up here to set your shutter. You can also use the LCD screen for setting the shutter. For example, I have now set this at 50th of a second because I am shooting at 25 frames a second. You also set your ISO here, use your touch screen here, and you can scroll between different ISOs. And finally, you use your quick control button here for setting your aperture. And you'll see the aperture value changing there. And that's pretty much all you need to get out there and shoot some great video with your Canon 80D. I am currently working on a more comprehensive or detailed course for shooting video with your Canon 80D, and this will cover such things as modifying picture styles, different methods for getting sharp focus, and also ways of using external mics to get better audio into your camera. If this is of interest to you, I'll leave a link below, head on over to my website and leave your email and I'll let you know when the course is ready. As always, happy shooting and thanks for watching.